Hi, today's question is, given a normal human with 46 chromosomes, what is the probability that during comet formation all of the paternal chromosomes will wind up in the same comet? So, uh, here is uh, four answers that you may choose from. If you don't know the answer, here is my explanation. So, imagine that this is a uh, germline cell, and germline cell can produce two types of gametes and one is uh, sperm if of course if it is germline cell uh, in the male and if it is germline cell of the female this is going to produce egg cell and I will use uh, this for my example so uh, germline cell is deployed so it has two sets of chromosomes, uh, half of them derived from the father side and half of them from the mother side and during meiosis, so this is uh, father side and this is mother, so during uh, metaphase uh, before division, uh, these two uh, sets of chromosomes line up in the middle of the uh, cell randomly and then they would be pulled at the different parts of the cell and this is totally random process. So, uh, as you see here, here uh, on this uh, part of the cell uh, uh, chromosome number one would be from the mother side, chromosome number two would be from the father side and uh, from the mother, father, father. So this is totally random, it's just like uh, if you have a box with uh, different, with two kinds of pencils for example, uh, like white and green and uh, each time if you pull uh, some pencil randomly uh, it's not much chance that you will uh, pull out of the box 23 pencils of the same color so uh, this is the same question so if this cell going to divide so what is the chances that on this side all the chromosomes would line up that it's going to be, for example, from the father side or from the mother side. That is uh, actually the same chances. So, um, if I redraw this germline cell, this is going to be, this should look like this. So, what is the chances that our chromosomes would line in this pattern so this would be later pull it to the poles of the cell so this cell would divide to two daughter cells and this uh, all chromosomes on the right side would end up here in the egg cell uh, like this. So uh, here we have 46 chromosomes or 23 pairs and here we would have uh, 23 chromosomes and no pairs because uh, gametes are haploid. So uh, Let's now count the chances. So what are the chances for the chromosome um, number one to be uh, derived from the father side and end up here? So uh, here would be chromosome number one and chances would be one half. It's just like a flipping a coin. What are the chances for the coin to uh, lay down on the ground with heads on tails. Here the same thing. 
coin have two sides and we have two chromosomes here and chances are equal that it can be uh, from the mother side or from the father side so the chances is one half uh, for the uh, father side and same for the mother side so what is the chances for the second chromosome number two once again to be derived from the father side and once again this is one half chances and so on for all 23 chromosomes so at the end we will have one half raised 23 and here we have to put multiplication sign and we have to put multiplication sign and use rule of multiplication uh, every time when we have independent probabilities and we can put uh, word and for example uh, what is the probability for the first chromosome to be derived from the father side and second chromosome to be derived from the father side and third chromosome to be derived from the uh, father side and so on so uh, how small is this number this is about zero, 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 one, one, nine. That is one point two, roughly out of ten millions. So this gives us more than eight million combinations. Uh, how twenty three pairs of chromosomes can be combined. And here is the correct answer, that is B, and we can cross out uh, the rest answers. So, this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe to my new videos that I post almost every day. Goodbye.